I'm, I'm, I am crazy for seeing this, but Scratch Jr. is actually better at something than Scratch 3.0. I did not expect that. Yo, what is good with y'all boys? We're back here once again in Scratch, and today I will be attempting to make a game in both the best and the worst Scratch version ever. So as you can see, about a month ago, I asked you guys what is the best version of Scratch, and easily by like 75%, it was Scratch 3.0 and the worst version of Scratch by more than 80% Scratch Junior. So today I will be attempting to make the same game in both the best version of Scratch and the worst version of Scratch. Alright, so the reason I am starting with Scratch Junior is because I want to make a game that could be simple enough to make on Scratch Junior because if I go on Scratch 3.0 and make a super complicated and difficult game I might not even be able to make it here on Scratch Junior because you can do pretty much nothing here so my plan is pretty simple I just want to create a simple geometry dash based game and yes I'm completely copying Jackson's Academies I made a video game in Scratch Junior and lost my mind the game is you know he, if he can copy from me <laughs> Okay, we finally have everything drawn and animated. Now we just need to do one more thing, and that is the coding. Okay, and after like 20 minutes and successfully stealing everything from Jackson Academy, we have the finished game. So, as you can see, we have a geometry dash based game, and I already lost. We have a game where you just have to jump over spikes. It's pretty simple, it's, it's very boring and, and plain, but it's the only thing you can possibly make on this stupid app. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have our game in Scratch Junior, I hopped on Scratch 3.0 and I was trying to make a, a, a similar game to what I made in Scratch Junior, but of course it will be easier and I'll try to make it more complicated because the game in Scratch Junior is way too simple and boring, so I guess let's start. Oh my god, I just realized that Scratch 3.0 doesn't even have the triangle shape. So, I am I am crazy for seeing this, but Scratch Junior is actually better at something than Scratch 3.0. I did not expect that. Okay, I guess I'll have to just draw it myself. So, that, you know, that, that's somewhat of a triangle, right? Alright, and a good 30 minutes later, we finally have the game in Scratch 3.0. So as you can see, there's a timer now, and... Okay, I already lost, but that's that's not the point. As you can see, instead of one spike, there are two spikes now, and this, there's a spinning animation. Once you jump, there's a timer, and 
there's a, there's a better game over screen L plus ratio in the bottom of course and the background is better Every, basically everything is better I, it's, it was way easier making the game I just added more stuff to it and as you can see yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same game as in uh, Scratch Jr just way better and the cherry on top is if you die the vine boom sound effect plays so yeah that is basically it we have both games in scratch 3.0 and in scratch jr they were both pretty terrible not gonna lie but at least at least they're they're playable so my conclusion will be to never ever even think about making a game in scratch jr so i'm going to close it i'm going to close scratch leave and finally i will uninstall both of them mission to run up the digits i can't do the simp and these diamonds they glisten i had me a vision i'd be in a good position i have no competition i'm focusing on commission i disappear like magician just a floating apparition really brothers to fruition don't need me in an omission they try to copy my sound like a rendition i lay to speak the rest somebody call the mortician